Jeremy Price, you got the first question. Well, I think the main thing was us getting stops defensively. You know, we came together, had a collective mindset that we wanted to get stops. You know, we weren't really converting on offense, but, you know, we weren't scoring, they weren't scoring, and we were just able to come out at the end of the game. Yeah, I think that's very important uh, for us to build on. And, you know, I think this game, the fans definitely helped us out a lot. So, you know, thank them for being here, giving, you know, the building a lot of energy and, you know, just getting this win at home. Yeah, yeah. This is OG. I, I saw OG's potential in the summer. You know, he was just a shy, quiet guy in the summer. <laughs> he knows it uh, back then. But, you know, we've been on him about, you know, bring that out. You know, we're going to need that to win. And, and, you know, these three Big Ten games that we've played, I feel like OG has been, you know, a great factor for us in these wins. Yogi, does this almost feel like maybe, I guess, the next checkpoint in defensive development kind of coming off that Nebraska game where you're able to hold, uh, you know, Shields and White to, to a, you know, limited performance and you kind of hold Koenig and uh, Hayes tonight? Does it feel like maybe the next step in maybe defensive development? Well, yeah. I mean, like I said before, you know, each game is going to give you something different. You know, every team has their stars. And, you know, the next step is we can't play hard defense in the second half because that's not going to get us a win, you know, down the road playing somewhere like Michigan State. Um, you know, you got to play defense for 40 minutes, you know, half to half, and uh, just find a way. Questions for OG or Thomas? Uh, OG, I'm, I'm curious, are you that good a three-point shooter in high school? And, and where does this – or maybe you have, but where does this come from? Um, I just – I thought I was, but – <laughs> I, just, I just shoot a lot after practice. Shoot with guys like Yogi and Rob. And Can you help me, son? <laughs> I used to shoot a lot with guys like Yogi and Rob and Nick, and they just stay on me about it. Do you feel like you're ready to challenge Nick and Yogi for three points? <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Oh, I've seen him grow a lot um, since uh, the Kentucky Derby. You know, I saw like he was a real good guy on, on and off the court, and I saw the potential. And like we came here for the summer, you know, when he was finishing with the guards instead of the bigs, you know, that took that caught my eye quick. You know, and he just kept improving. I just see him going and get extra work in, and always wanting to get better, and that really that really shows on the court. Uh, what was key for us was to get stops. You know, we knew this was going to be a grind out game. And the only way was to basically just buckle down on defense and, you know, just try and take away some of the key tendencies like Koenig and Hayes and what they wanted to do. They didn't really say much to us. Um, yeah, they didn't really, they didn't really say much. You said, can you talk about what it meant to get the win in front of the last undefeated basketball team? All three guys out there, they're there in front of the road watching you all get the win tonight. Yeah, I mean, that definitely means a lot. And, you know, in my eyes, that's something I'm going to remember uh, for an undefeated team that I currently play for, that they previously played for, to come in and see us get a win in front of them. Uh, you know, that definitely means a lot to me and definitely my team. Bench has really stepped up these first three games with him out. I know we asked about OG, but as a guy who started a lot, sort of what do you tell those guys coming off the bench, particularly the young guys, about how they can sustain their impact over the course of an entire Big Ten season? Yeah, I mean, the main thing is you just got to stay ready always. You never know when your name is going to be called when you're on the bench. And you got to have that mindset of, okay, how am I going to go in and impact this game for my team, our team to win? And, you know, I feel like guys like OG, Harrison, Ryan Burton are guys that can come in the game for us 
when it's a tight game and they can come in and impact the game for our team. Uh, just a basketball player. <laughs> more what? <laughs> Told you he's shy. I'm not shy. <laughs> That's not true. I'm not shy. Tom, you had ten points in the first half, pretty effective inside. Did they do anything different to you in the second half that you weren't able to get some of those looks? Um, no. Um, getting those points in the first half really freed up my teammates. You know. Uh, I believe Nick got a three. Uh, he got a clutch three right there off the sh uh, coming up when they all came down on me, and uh, Yogi got some real good looks uh, and got fouled too. You know, with me coming up and uh, demanding the ball, but also it opens up so much for my teammates. You know, um, it doesn't matter about me scoring points as long as we get the win. I don't care. You know, my teammates can score as much as they want. I can end with zero points and still get the win. I still be happy. <laughs> it's been forty years since the team went undefeated and won the NCAA National Championship. Of course, that's ancient history to you. You weren't even born. But <laughs> how impressive or spectacular is that to think about? Nobody else has been able to do what that team did out there. Tonight. Oh, I think about that every day walking in the walking in the Cook Hall, you know, and then seeing the history right here, you know. That, that's unbelievable, you know. When you get to meet those guys, you get to talk to them, you know, um, there's a certain humbleness you have to yourself, you know. And you try and pick up anything that those guys will try and give you, you know. You just want to go out there and play well, you know, and get a win for those guys when they're here to, sh to watch and, uh, and just show that you're representing them uh, to the best of your ability. Thomas, it looked like early in the season, you guys playing defense wasn't fun. But it looks like it's, it's fun now. I mean, is it what's, what's been the metamorphosis? What's been the change? Just continuing the steps of, defensive, of our defensive work, you know. Um, we got better and better as the season went on and practices, you know. Um, coach got on us b before, you know, we get on each other now. And we just, we don't want to go into a game to where, like, it's only offense carrying us, you know. We're an offense and defensive team, too. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Dave. It was nasty, wasn't it?